The desert locust is the most feared of all the locusts worldwide. When there is a plague of the desert locust, it has the potential to damage the livelihood of a tenth of the world's population. There are 20 frontline countries affected every year by the desert locust, and more than half are in Africa. <laughs> السرب في عدد عدد من الأفراد كثير جدا يصل للملايين الأفراد في السرب الواحد بتهاجم الخضرة والمزارع والنباتات الصحراوية الموجودة في السرب البرية وبتسبب أضرار جسيمة جدا للفلاح والاقتصاد القومي حشرة الجراز الصحراوي بتغذى تقريبا في اليوم 2 جرام 2 جرام ونص من الغذاء تاكل بتتغذى بتهاجم الازهار والاوراق وخالص الاشجار تهاجم المحاصيل الحقليه زي الذره والقطن والقصب السكر وتهاجم محاصيل الخضار زي الطماطم والخضروات اللي موجوده في السوق عموما كل انواع النباتات الفواكه اشجار الفواكه بتهاجمها وتسبب اضرار جسيمه جدا في الصباح بتنزل الاشجار على الارض تتهاجم النباتات تغلس عليها في فتره قصيره جدا بتقضي على النباتات الموجوده على الارض تماما وبتسيب البيئه الصحراويه زي ما كانت وده بي طبعا بيخلينا نخسر 100% من المحصول بتاعنا ومع هجوم الاصاب بكميات كبيره ده بياثر على الاقتصاد القومي بشكل عام وبيوفي اضرار كبيره على البلد وخساره للفلاح وللبلد بشكل عام. Most of the countries affected by the desert locust have established autonomous national locust units with teams of specialists who conduct regular field surveys using four-wheel drive vehicles equipped with an e-locust 2 system for recording and transmitting field data in real time. So they record locust situation, the habitat, meaning rainfall, the soil humidity, vegetation stage, all this information are recorded here through the antenna and GPS, information can be communicated, recorded and communicated and sent through the satellite to the locust control center. This operation takes about 10 minutes. In the past, this operation used to take about four to six weeks. All national locust units are grouped into a well-organized information network that is the foundation of the early warning system. The system operated by FAO relies on the use of new technologies such as eLocus2, but also incorporating uh, satellite imagery so that we can better detect in the desert areas of green vegetation and where it may have rain. This information is used to guide survey teams to check if there are locusts present and if they need to be controlled. Now the early warning system has improved dramatically in the last few years because of the use of these new technologies. But nevertheless, we will still face desert locust emergencies. When there's a locust emergency, FAO activates its emergency center for locust operations. This center helps to coordinate control campaigns against the desert locusts and also helps to coordinate all of the assistance that is required from the external donor community. These control campaigns consist of increased surveys in the affected countries, increased control operations, including aerial operations, equipment, purchase of pesticides, mobilization of extra teams, and additional technical assistance. Well-directed surveys, correct spatial information, and timely environmentally sound interventions can mitigate food security concerns and drastically reduce the amount of pesticides to be used for desert locust control.